Jonathan Lusbeck. Um, I'm interested in how mysticism and technology can complement each other. And the works that I will show at Göteborg's Kunsthal all relate to this quantum computer that is being built in Gothenburg at the moment. And as I see it, the quantum computer has the ability to be in unity. Basically, it is through quantum mechanics capable of being zero and one at once in contrast to normal binary computers. And I link this collapse of opposite to what the mystics have been talking about forever, an experience of reality where there is no distinct you and me, no subject object, no real separation. So the unity of the quantum computer is linked to this ancient search for unity within mysticism. And in that way, the works constitute this speculative mysticism, where the quantum computer points towards this timeless experience of unity in a society that might have forgotten about this insight. My name is Monique van der Waal and I'm presenting the work Internet Café in Consal. It is a research-based art project that was made as a reaction against digital social spaces that take advantage of its users. Through my research, I found out that there are also digital common spaces on the internet, and these spaces are made by the same people that use them. These digital common spaces on the internet are not taking advantage of its users. And through my research, I found out that these digital common spaces are constantly in a state of being built, rebuilt, and destroyed. I'm Andrea Giovanni Oded. I'm a figurative sculptor, and behind me is a piece I'm working on uh, focused on masculinity. In particular, a fascist construct of masculinity, uh, not only from uh, the origins of fascist ideology of the 1930s and 40s, but also uh, in its resurgency in online communities today. Conceptually, the piece behind me is meant to embody the fascist ideals of masculinity, which are an expectation of men to embody power, virility, sexual entitlement, dominance, violence, as well as nationalism. piece behind me is going to be incorporating uh, not only ideals of masculinity from past fascist um, doctrine, but also it's going to be incorporating examples of rhetoric used in online spaces today. And I source this rhetoric and dialogue from online spaces such as uh, groups like online forums or communities on social media, as well as um, uh, letters and uh, messages and recordings from individuals, most predominantly targeted against women. Hi, my name is Anna Bergman. 
during my masters, I have investigated the materiality in painting. I work with painting in the extended field, which means that the paintings tend to be both an object and a painting. You could say that I work three-dimensionally with painting. My materials are ink, plastic, latex, and other painterly colors. As a part of my process, I write automatic text, which I developed into a methodology. I call it in dialogue with the tube. Hello, my name is Ricardo Diaque, and my work is an invitation for you to ponder upon my obsessions. Within this program, I've been concerned with mental health and in how the shift in culture has affected my everyday life. So the project has consisted a lot of the time in doing what I'm doing right now, which is talking to a camera and explaining what's been going on, how have I been feeling, and addressing in which ways can I cope with it. This will culminate on the exhibition where I will be presenting part of this archive along with a few other coping mechanisms which have helped me successfully navigate living in a context which is Scandinavia. Number four, are you desperate? And are you alone? And do you want this to stop? Well, if any of these questions are affirmative for you, then screaming as a form of therapy is here to help you. This work will be presented as a form of installation at Konstal, where I will be showcasing the personal space and the institutional or structural space. And people will be able to come into my personal space one at a time and encounter the vulnerability that I've experienced while adjusting to living in Sweden. Diana Deliska and I work with a social practice. This means that I both collaborate with people while I do the work but also that um, people interact uh, with each other through the artwork. I am interested in individualism uh, and my research uh, explores non-individualistic ways of living and also the social conditions that individualism produces. Um, and a big part of being dependent on people and learning to live with people and work with people is conflict. And my work in Kunsthallen, titled Karaoke Harmony, is a social performance um, where you are invited to perform. And it is about a sort of conflict that um, is a prolonged disagreement that doesn't have a resolution uh, or is really hard to resolve. Um, the setup of the work is uh, two microphones uh, face to fa where two people sing face to face with each other. And behind each person there is a screen of rolling lyrics. So each person sings a different song, but they sing them at the same time. And this to me stages uh, a perfect conflict because each person has to be very aware of their, their song, their side of the truth, their side of the story, and also be very aware of uh, the other person. Uh, and by the end of that, you have uh, a perfect harmony or a perfect conflict, which to me is the same. My name is Pablo Encinas Alonso. My current project, Self Health Universe, is an interruption of everyday life to reflect on the tension between healthcare and self sufficiency. 
The installation is composed of three objects, the migrant sauna, the bicycle ambulance, and the wind creature. This ecosystem explores the idea of DIY wellness solutions and their underlying myths. The interest for this project came from a personal experience when we had to call 112 for uh, emergency services. But the operator determined the situation was not serious enough to call an ambulance, to, to send us an ambulance. So we had to call a taxi. But the company refused to take us because there was a person bleeding heavily. So at that moment, um, uh, it occurred to me that the situation could have happened as a result of a void in the system. The incident let my project focus on the paradoxical idea of a sick ambulance or an ambulance that doesn't make it to the hospital. The project as a whole circulates around this sick ambulance as a critical vehicle that explores the political dimension of the individual as part of the system. My name is Saga Eklund, and in my artistic practice, I am investigating what it sexually and socially means to be a good girl. Being a good girl has multiple definitions, but the one that I find most interesting is that a good girl is a bad girl that has never been caught. During my MFA, I have been researching the good girl aesthetics in historical art and mainstream uh, contemporary pornography, as well as the social expectations that helps to inform these aesthetics. Hidden underneath the appropriation of commodity, Duktig is an installation that uses language, objects, and digital elements to emphasize the se sexual dichotomy of the good girl and how the, its tension between ethics and aesthetics. It also asks the viewer to respond to one question, which is, have you been a good girl? Hi, my name is Thais Fernandes. I come from Brazil. And my work, it's about uh, trying to find meaning in the unconscious imagery and symbols that comes within dreams. And I work mainly with uh, watercolor and I create, in, at this process, I'm creating maps of the unconscious and of the realm of the dream. And uh, with uh, symbols from my childhood and from uh, archetypes that comes up in dreams and uh, with um, with coffee as a mean like as a background for it I use the coffee with the paper to create this kind of like landscape that comes well, and once the paper is dry stained with the coffee that's when the images come to life I create the work in a smaller scale because it's more manageable for me to do that. So I have made a series of smaller pieces of paintings that I cut from the bigger paper. And with that, I create a big map. So I around, they're all different shapes and sizes. Some of them are more uh, regular sizes and some of them are more abstract si sizes and all together create a very big mural of paintings and you can see the path through them because if you look at them as well it's just like they're tiles in itself making a big tiling mural and they're also tiling inside the paintings as well so it's about i think it's about 300 400 paintings that i'm going to show Thank you. 